Hello everyone. Um, I saw a lot of people really angry and concerned with the math problem that Chris posted and so I thought that I would actually teach you how to do it because <laughs> I'm a teacher and I can't shut that sort of thing off. Um, so the problem that they gave you was 32 minus 12 um, and basically what they're doing is they're teaching the inverse and the reason why they do that, teaching how to use addition to solve the problem instead of subtraction is because kids' brains are more apt to latch onto and to understand adding things than subtracting things or finding the difference between things. Um, they've been teaching this for a really long time. You know, they're calling it new math. It's not new math. Um, this was the math that I learned how to teach at Greenville College in my math methods course uh, taught by Carlene Johnson in 2003, 2002. Um, and we were using, you know, textbooks um, that came from overseas, actually, um, you know, Korea, China. Um, so they're using this method and have been for a long, 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 long time um, overseas. And I know that it looks different um, to a lot of brains, <laughs> but that doesn't make it bad and it doesn't make it scary. And um, it's going to be OK. So anyway, here's how they do it. And this is how they do the problem and and the thinking behind the problem. Okay, so the 12 that started on that long list of numbers um, comes from here. Okay, so what they're doing is they're saying, okay, we're going to find the difference between these two numbers, and how we're going to do that is we're going to start at the low number and work our way up to that top number of 32. <clears throat> um, so they do that by creating friendly numbers. And so that 12, they add a 3 to make a 15. Now the reason why they did this was because 15 is considered a friendly number, a number that we can easily add things to in our head. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, any landmark numbers like that, like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, those are all considered friendly numbers and your kids are going to be taught how to find those numbers and manipulate numbers to turn them into friendly numbers um, and that's going to help them with their math in the long run. Um, so they're at the 15 now. And then they say, okay, I'm at 15. I want to get close to 32, so what can I add to get me close to 32? They say 5. And that makes a 20. So now they're at 20, and they think, what can I add to get to close to 32? So they chose a 10. Now they're at 30. Oops. And they can very easily hop up to 32. Oops. Oops. Okay, so now what do we do once we get to 32? We take those numbers that we added to make those friendly numbers. We just add them together. So 3 and 5 is 8, add 2 is 10, add another 2 is 20. And there's your answer. And you're looking at that and you're thinking, well, that's a really super long way to do that. Why don't they just subtract? Because when I was a kid, they just subtracted. <laughs> um, they actually are showing you a really elongated way. Um, this would be a way that like a first, second, third grader would use because they're more comfortable with smaller numbers and going at smaller increments. Um, I personally would do this in my head because I hate subtraction. I really do. And I really do legitimately use this. And if you know Leah, she will tell you that I wouldn't lie about something like that. <laughs> um, so I start with 12, and what I would do is I would personally start by adding 8 to make 20. And my 20 is going to be added to 12 to make 32. And then I just have to add these two things together, 8 and 12 is 20. Um, they teach this because once you get this process down and once you train your brain to be able to make these friendly numbers, and keep lists. You can do this in your head with very, very, very large numbers. Um, because what you're really doing when you see this symbol right here, this one right here, um, you're not really subtracting. You're finding the difference between these two numbers. And you say, well, that's just a label that doesn't really matter. It actually really does. Um, so I would start actually encouraging your kids to think about when they see that symbol to say, well, I'm finding the difference between 32 and 12. Um, because that can really help them as they get, you know, older and get through the problems and 
and as they start to really learn how to manipulate the numbers to make them work for them. Um, I do think it's interesting that they chose a very easily subtracted and traditional sense. You know, you don't have to borrow, you don't have to do anything fancy. If you throw a problem like that to a kid, <coughs> they're going to think that's really easy. If you take 32 and you subtract 17, you're going to see a lot of kids do this. 7 minus 2 is 5, 3 minus 1 is 2, and they're going to get 25. I guarantee it, you will have a good portion of kids at a varying grade, at like at varying grade levels do that because they're not really understanding that when you see that, you're finding the difference between numbers. Um, and then if they do get it, and they do get they want to find the difference, then they're also going to have to borrow. Oh, and then, oh gosh, 12 plus 7. Well, I personally have to think about that as starting at 7 and then counting up to 12. So I do that by adding 3 and then adding another 2, which is 5. And I'm 31 years old, and I still think that way. <clears throat> so your answer there is 15. If you were to do it the new math way, you take 17, you add 3, you get to 20. You're at 20. You add 12, you get to 32. 13 plus 12, 15. So there's a lot of different ways to do math. Um, your brain might be stuck in this way. Um, mine was for a lot of years, and I had a really difficult time um, retaining. I had a really difficult time understanding how math worked. When I started to think about it this way and this way, then I really started to get math, and I was able to utilize it more effectively in my head. Um, I don't whip out a calculator. I don't have to write things down. I do things in my head, and I train my brain to do those things in my head using this. So... And sometimes, even just like this, when I did that 12 minus 7, um, you do it without even thinking about it. So, anyway, this is the quote new math that's not really new. Um, do you have any questions? You can Facebook me. <laughs> but it really is a really good thing. Um, it's just very different from what we learned when we were in school. So don't be afraid. Um, be open to new experiences. Bye.